If you're facing construction or maintenance projects that require you to work above ground level, you'll need a boost. Depending on your work site and the nature of your job, you may want to consider a boom lift or a scissor lift. We'll explain the main differences between boom lifts and scissor lifts to help you choose the right equipment for your next project. What is a boom lift? A boom lift is a piece of lift equipment that elevates a worker in a small bucket or on a compact elevating work platform. This type of aerial lift features a grounded base and hydraulic lift system. Zero emission electric boom lift can be used indoors or outdoors, while diesel or dual fuel boom lifts are designed for outdoor use. Electric lifts can extend from 30 to 60 feet high, while diesel powered lifts can go from 30 feet all the way up to 210 feet. What is a scissor lift? A scissor lift is a piece of equipment with a large, flat aerial work platform supported by a series of crisscross braces. These braces squeeze together to push the platform upward. The base of the scissor lift needs to sit on flat, stable ground directly beside the workspace for the project to be accessible to those on the lift. Boom Lift VS Scissor Lift When thinking about what kind of lift to rent, take stock of what kind of job you are doing, where you are doing it, how much power you need, and your budget. There's a big range in the price for renting different types of lifts, whether you're looking at boom lifts or scissor lifts. How high do you need to go? Boom lifts, in general, can give you access to areas that are higher up, while scissor lifts can be a good choice for areas up to 50 feet high, depending on the area where you're working. What direction do you need to move in? If you need to go straight up and down, a scissor lift could be a good choice. How many workers are involved? Boom lift buckets have limited space and typically accommodate single workers. Scissor lifts can often accommodate more workers and have a higher weight limit. What is the job site terrain? Rough terrain scissor lifts and boom lifts powered by diesel fuel can be effective on uneven or rocky terrain. What is your budget? Boom lifts can range in price from $468 to $3,227 a week, depending on how big they are and what they can do. Scissor lifts are generally cheaper, ranging from $230 to $993 a week. Hi, Boom Lift. Telescopic lifts can raise workers anywhere from 30 to 210 feet. Articulating lifts can extend from 30 to 135 feet. The most versatile can go two or even three times higher than a scissor lift to reach areas that may otherwise be too far up. Scissor lift. Scissor lifts can raise workers up to 60 feet, which can allow them to reach many work sites, raising workers up to four stories high. Direction. Boom lift. Many lift bases can rotate workers 360 degrees. Telescopic lift can direct workers straight up or outward, or a combination of the two. Articulating lifts can go even further, providing access around obstacles and tight spaces. Scissor lift. Scissor lifts are limited to straight up and down vertical lifts, so workers need to be adjacent to the area they are working on. Platform capacity. Boom lift. Boom lifts can carry up to 500 pounds, making them effective for small and moderate loads. Scissor lift. Heavier models can bear heavier loads. For example, a 19-foot electric lift might be able to lift 500 to 700 pounds, while a 50-foot rough terrain scissor lift might carry up to 2,250 pounds. Terrain Backslash Boom Lift Diesel boom lifts may be equipped with tough treading on their tires, making them well-suited to outdoor maintenance and construction jobs. They can be used on uneven, rutted, or rocky ground. Scissor Lift some models come with four-wheel drive engines and are fueled by powerful diesel engines that are specifically designed to work on rough terrain. Budget Boom lifts are typically more expensive than scissor lifts. Boom lift, a 40-foot electric articulating boom lift, can cost you $728 a week. Scissor lift, a 40-foot electric scissor lift, can cost you $630 a week. Lift safety Aerial lifts such as boom and scissor lifts can pose a number of hazards, including falls, structural failures, electrical accidents, and tip overs. Lift safety is important and includes several factors. There's also a risk of lifts hitting objects around them or overhead. 
The Occupational Safety and Health Administration OSHA requires employers to provide workers with training and necessary personal protective equipment before operating any kind of aerial lift. This includes procedures for dealing with hazards, instruction on how to operate the lift, how to perform inspections, and how to recognize potentially unsafe conditions and avoid them. Lift operators should have been used to proper safety equipment and refrain from overloading lifts. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos.